Okay, so I have two of It Cosmetics Sun Blush to try, one in shade Sun Warmth and one in shade Sun Blossom. So I want to put them on and see how they go. I love a cream blush for being hydrating, but I also worry about the wear. Sometimes on them, I just feel like they can start to go a bit blotchy. I feel like this is going to be a safer bet on me than this one. I think this is just going to be way too dark. So we'll try this one. I'm going to use my fingers because I just feel like that's the easiest way to try and get it to melt into the skin. So it feels really, really nice and hydrating. Obviously, you could probably do this with a brush as well. Excuse my fingernails. I'm trying to get them to grow out from where I did pressed nails for like a year and they just kind of made them go a bit ridgy. So I'm just trying to get that all to grow out. And I am just gonna go in with a brush that's clean, just to really try and blend out those edges. And I obviously contoured before this, just to create the full cheek look. And I'm just trying to blend the two together. So it is quite a natural wash of color that I like. It's glowy without being sparkly or too much of a highlight. I love a highlight, but this is just a different look. So let's do that on the other side. I am liking how peach this is because I'm gonna use a Charlotte Tilbury Peach Gasm, which I want to show you next to this. You can kind of see the similarities in color if that's what you're used to. And also the difference in finish because obviously the Charlotte Tilbury wand is a lot more highlighted. But I think for the summer, this might actually last better for the long term so can you see how much shimmer that has it's gorgeous it blends out really nicely and i tend to go quite heavy with this actually and then so i'm going to go heavy with that just so you can kind of see so they are kind of in that same family of the peachiness this one is going to be as i start to blend it out it's going to be a cream finish slightly radiant this one is going to get very, very shimmery and shiny. And you could do both. You could totally put that on top as a highlighter to finish it off. But I think I want to keep this like this today, just so you can see how this actually wears. Yeah, that blended out really nicely and naturally. I like that color. The reason I like my lips is I like doing quite a cohesive look. So I'm going to use this on my lips as well to tie the whole look together. Kind of tempted to go with the darker one. It's still in that same warm sun blush family. We'll try the light. I feel like it might be a little bit too light and can always go back with the other one. So if you're using this as a glass like I am, you're going to have to really blend it so it doesn't start to separate. So that's with the lighter sun blossom. I don't love it on me. I think it's washing me out. I'm gonna try the darker one. This is going to be the sun warmth. It's not as hydrating going on as I thought it was going to be. But I do think the darker shade is a much better look on me. It's a bit warmer than I would normally go for, for a lipstick. But I like that it's almost a matte lipstick. It's not glossy, so your hair's not going to get stuck in it in the wind. And it creates that whole cohesive look. So before I say whether It Cosmetics Sun Blush is a hit or miss, let's give it a wear test. I've switched direction because I was originally intending this to be a 60 second YouTube short, but since it's longer, we're going to go a full aspect ratio. So wear wise, it's lasted really, really well. The color hasn't faded. There's no separation with it. And the lips are what I'm most impressed with. So it's lasted really well as a lip stain. It's lost its sheen that it had when I first put it on. It doesn't feel hydrating anymore, but it has. You can see that's lasted really well. I've had lunch, I've had water, I've had coffee and the stain has lasted, well the blush has lasted really well as a lip color. And I actually kind of like it now, it's faded out a bit. I think it's a little bit softer and not as dark and I think it matches the blush color better. So all in all, I'm very, very happy with the It Cosmetics Sun Blush. I'm going to link it below. It's available in both Sephora and It Cosmetics. So I'll put the link to both of those below. If you have any questions about it, drop it in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.